morning, everyone. <coughs> Still got a frog in my throat. <laughs> Quite the look going on this morning. I have just woken up and I'm going to do my first vlog from France. I've had quite a few people ask if we're gonna be vlogging while we're here. And yes, we are. I don't know how much. I feel like I'm not really a very good vlogger, but, um, and we're not even really doing anything that interesting today, but I just figured I'd pick up the camera and show a little bit of a day at home. It's kind of at home, we're going out this evening. Yeah, I just woke up, had a shower, <clears throat> used my vinegar rinse in the hair, so hopefully I've got some volume back to my hair. <laughs> um, I've been, this is like the first couple days. Well, yesterday I was still feeling sick, and I still feel a little sick in my chest today, but I have been really sick for like a good week and a half, and I never get sick, it's weird. And usually when I do get sick, it's like one or two days and I'm good. This is, I've been fighting this for like a good week and a half now, and so I haven't vlogged yet, and I haven't really done much content at all. There's been a few things on the blog, but yeah, sick. Anyways, I have the energy to pick up the camera today. There's not really anything too crazy going on. I'm basically doing laundry and things around the house. I'm gonna film um, my vintage haul video. I think I gotta find something for dinner because we're going out tonight, so we definitely need food in our bellies because it's Iberian week. The Iberian students of the school have put together a huge big party for us, so we're all getting shuttled out to a unknown location, and it's all drinks and I think some food included. There's gonna be a mechanical bowl there. We're all supposed to dress in white, and then I think they're providing us red scarves, so we're gonna look like we're part of Running With The Bulls, which is really cool. I don't know how much I'll be able to vlog there because they're all MBA students and I don't wanna like <laughs> record anyone too drunk. I think it'll be fun to catch some of the uh, bull riding. I will not be on the bull, especially with a bad chest. And knowing me, I will probably get injured. Luckily, my insurance is up and running now, but um, I don't really wanna use it if I don't have to, so. Yeah, the other good thing is that now I can actually record and you can hear me because we have had the worst neighbors upstairs for the last two and a half weeks. First week we were here, it was like total silence because there was nobody staying up there. It's like an Airbnb that they rent up there. So we loved it here, it was nice. But then this young couple came in, they would just scream bloody murder until like 4.30 in the morning. I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating that. She was screaming at the top of her lungs and these are like paper thin walls, you can hear everything. There was one night I actually almost called the cops because Ken was at school and I, it sounded like they were killing each other. Eventually it stopped and I could hear both voices. So I was like, okay, nobody's dead. But I was so scared. It was like, really freaked me out. I was messaging Ken, I was like, um, I think I need to like come stay with you at the school or we need to call the cops or something. It sounds like a murder is gonna happen. <laughs> Yeah, they would stomp around till 4.30 in the morning when Ken had like really important interviews and tests and stuff happening the next day. They'd use up all the hot water. So by we'd both have to shower in the morning and then by noon, there's no hot water left in the house till the next morning. It just wouldn't refill again. Like washing my face at night, doing the dishes, all that cold water. If Ken went to the gym in the evening, he just couldn't shower or you'd have to shower at school. And they also screwed up our recycling for the last two weeks. So now we're like overflowing with cardboard and garbage everywhere because they kept, th like the one day they threw pizza boxes with half a pizza still in it in the recycling and like dirty yogurt cups and just like regular garbage or half full Coke bottles in the recycling. So each time it got put out um, that we just got a huge error tape across the whole thing saying we're not taking it. So that's happened for two weeks in a row now. Eventually we did complain to the, um, the owners and they had someone come and sort it out because I wasn't about to stick my hand in that huge container sorting out dirty garbage from the recycling. But now this week, this is the third week, this week we had snow, so the trucks never even came. So now we're really overflowing with recycling and garbage, but um, small problems, but we're very thankful they're gone now and I can hear myself think again and there's no stomping and clanking and breaking glass and <sighs> It's nice. I actually asked the lady that went upstairs to clean the other day. I was like, how was it? It sounds like they, they made a pretty big mess up there in the two weeks. And she was like, I spent seven hours on my hands and knees scrubbing to get it clean. And they're only there for two weeks. So how much mess can two people make? But apparently it was a, a mess. Anyways, that's my story for the morning. I'm going to blow dry my hair, get it curled, put the laundry away first actually, because it's driving me nuts. My brain like feels cluttered and bogged down when there's messy laundry everywhere. It's all over our mantle. It's all socks. <laughs> we only have a tiny little drying rack here, so I have to get creative. Blow dry my hair, curl it, and then need some breakfast. My stomach is eating itself. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm such a good housewife. I feel like this vlog is gonna be so boring. But anyways, I'm moving on to hair. I can already feel that the vinegar has done something to my hair. It feels much more bouncy and not stuck to my head and sticky. I think we will have success with the blow dry today. Good thing about having really fine, thin hair is that it takes like three minutes to blow dry. <laughs> Got my handy dandy converter that I've had for like 10 years. <laughs> and we're gonna curl. I'm just gonna do a really simple standard curl today. Nothing fancy. I keep looking out the window here because there's a little bird. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that comes to visit our bushes here in the backyard every day, sometimes twice a day. He's like a little black bird with a yellow beak. And I call him, ow, oh God, that hurt. <laughs> I call him Wilson because I'm home alone all the time. So he's like my Wilson from Castaway. So I talk to him sometimes, it's very sad, but he's cute. I think he's getting used to me watching him. So he visits frequently. <laughs> Okay, at last, we go downstairs. Take Ken's shirts down with us. Down the dreaded stairs. <laughs> Ken's disaster closet. I organized this for him. Well, it was about twice a week. I've given up now, but he just rips it apart within a day. I give up. I will wash the clothes, but you're on your own in there. Ken was on cleanup duty last night, so although it was very nice of him to do that, it's not quite the way I would do it. So first I'm gonna clean the kitchen and then I'll have breakfast. <laughs> I can't have breakfast with a dirty kitchen. So I managed to find soy yogurt. I used to eat the Activia lactose free stuff all the time at home. I loved it. It's just like real yogurt, but um, apparently that doesn't really exist in France. The soy stuff, stuff will have to do. It's pretty good. It definitely tastes like soy yogurt, but I don't really mind it. I don't think Ken will eat it, but it does the trick for me. So I'm just gonna do soy yogurt and granola and like a fiber cereal on top with a little bit of honey. And it just looks like rabbit food, but it's really good. There we go. That's breakfast. It's snowing again. I don't think it shows up at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. More snow. Maybe that's why I haven't seen Wilson this morning. Hiding away somewhere warmer. He must be hungry. Maybe he has another source somewhere. <laughs> this is just gonna be my crazy Wilson vlog. I'm going crazy. Here he is. He's here for his berries. Hey, caramba. Not very good at this anymore. <laughs> I forgot about you guys down here for a little bit. Just turning the TV off because I'm about to film. Look at the snow. This could be a problem for the party this evening. Things don't really work that well in the snow in France. Anyways, getting ready to film. I've just set up everything, set up the camera, changed the battery, found a memory card, got the clothing rack all set up here with the stuff I'm gonna haul. Camera's over here. Look, a little something like this. Whew, oh my God. The sickness has killed my cardio. Going up the stairs, I'm out of breath. One camera to the next. Okay, we are done. I've made a mess. Now comes the not so fun part. <laughs> Cleaning everything up. I've got to put all these clothes back away because a lot of them were folded and I hung them for the video on the rack. And all this stuff came off the rack. The snow is really coming down. Dang it. <laughs> I just put it all away and then realized I haven't done cutaways. So I need to try it all on, film it all. Shoot. Okay. Now I'm done. Now I'm gonna sit myself down here. I'm gonna see how much I can get through. Ken's been messaging me saying that he's not sure the party's gonna happen now. Several inches of snow. There's more snow here in small town France than there is back home in Canada. I was actually very surprised to find out in the last couple weeks how many people don't realize that Canada, our side of Canada, the West Coast, isn't that cold. 
It's about the same as it is here. The East Coast, it gets really cold, like minus 30. Our lowest is like minus five. And we get snow a handful of days of the year, but then it's gone and we have really mild weather. It's mostly rain for the year. And whenever we tell people we're from Canada, they're like, oh, then this is nothing for you. You're used to being freezing cold. I'm like, no, this is pretty cold for me. We're not, we're, it's colder here right now than it is back home and there's definitely way more snow, so. Just gonna get all this importing real quick before I go make lunch. Oops. Shoot. The heck? Where'd I go? Running into a few technical difficulties. I'm a little bit frustrated. I upgraded my software on my computer the other day. I think that was a bad idea. <sighs> So now whenever I open my iMovie, it just keeps crashing. I was able to get the footage that I recorded into iMovie, but I just get the feeling that if I start editing it and messing about with it, it's just gonna keep crashing and I'm gonna lose all the work that I do. Oh, and the other problem was I had to refilm a few of the cutaways because looking back, I didn't actually, I thought I hit record, but I guess I didn't. So two of the items weren't actually recorded. So that was fun. While I'm waiting for that to download, I'm gonna get started on some lunch. very touch and go. This is probably a few hours later. <laughs> I think I've, I don't want to say it. I'm going to jinx it. Let's see if the, this works. I can just imagine I'm going to get halfway through editing it though. It's going to crash. We're adults. Ginger's home. And yeah, it's embarrassing. We ordered pizza. That's a bad housewife. <laughs> I got very caught up in my editing, so and fighting iMovie and my new software. I think I got it working. I haven't actually exported the video yet, but I think there will be a video. So I didn't go out and get anything for dinner. So we're ordering pizza. And then we're gonna be Skyping with Ken's parents. And then we're gonna get ready to head to the party. It's still happening. The snow shut down a couple hours ago. So the party is still a go. We're gonna see some bull riding tonight. Mm -hmm. Dinner is served. So we had to order, oh, my lips are purple, I had a glass of red wine. <laughs> so we had to order a little extra to cover for the delivery and we didn't want any of the cheese bread or the chicken nuggets and stuff like that. So we just ordered three extra beers. <laughs> Those won't go to waste. But the delivery guy was like, you ordered one pizza, three beer? Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. One day we'll grow up. Skyping with Ken's parents, giving them the tour. Road pops. Oh my God, it's cold. Hoping we'll catch the 10 o'clock shuttle. I have a feeling it's gone already. Just got home, too old. We ended up taking a cab home early and eardrums are kind of dead. We're both pretty deaf right now. We're probably gonna watch a movie and go to bed, get a good night's rest. So we'll see you in the next one, bye.